What's going on, Caps? This is Mike Care Productions, and I ha I'm really hot right now because I'm at the beach right now. See, I'm at Ocean City right now for my vacation. So, um, this is going to be a very special video because um, I got a chance to interview one of the vice presidents of Castaway Cove. His name is Brian Hartley, and he's a really nice guy. The downside is that um, I interviewed him, but um, it, it, the park was open. It was like too loud, and um, I had to readjust the audio. I had to add Texas, but hopefully you guys will still see it and enjoy it. But um, the, everyone was screaming in the background, and there was like a lot of rides going in the background. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear it a lot, but um, yes. Yeah, so this is the Brian Hartley interview with vice president of Castleway Cove so enjoy caps see you in the outro what does this part have for people that many don't know about Castle Well, we have a lot of rides. We have 31 rides. We're always trying to mix it up. We're going to do a lot of stuff that out of every single year. And we also have our go-kart class. We used to have our games for the fire half of the world. We also have a rest of the people. It's kind of a mixture of everything. Not just rides, you know, places to eat, places to golf. We really make the whole day. Who founded Plano's Castle Cove? So it was actually founded by David Simpson and Fred Parker. They were partners back in 1959. Uh, they eventually split in the 60s, so now it's sold to by the Simpson family. Mr. Simpson passed away, but his son Scott now works with him. What are some of your duties you do as vice president? Uh, kind of the jack of all trades. I really do everything. Advertising, the hiring, scheduling, payroll, uh, ordering a lot of the supplies, doing all the HR stuff. So it's kind of really anything that needs to be done. I kind of jump in and help out wherever I can. What is the most ridden ride here? I'd have to say probably either the fun house or the double shot. Uh, we got a new tower a few years ago, but the double shot has really arrived. And when we got that in the late 90s, it really kind of us up to the next level. Uh, it's been a, one of those rides that has the line every single night that people enjoy. And it's funny now that it's been here a little more than 20 years, we started to get the kids that rode it when they were teenagers and now bring their kids to the ride. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. What does the park attract more visitors each year after dealing with the pandemic? Last year was an unbelievable year. I mean, we really sold it last year. I think people were really anxious to finally get back outside. So this year we're kind of back to normal the way we were. Uh, we've had a little bit of rain off and on the last week or so, so that's kind of hurt. It's kind of been a pain in the butt. But I think the next, uh, you know, the next week is great. Hopefully, the next summer stays dry. That's really what it's all about. As long as we have good weather, we're going to have good crowds. Right. Well, what happened with the fire last year, and how is the rebuilding process? The rebuild's been going slow. As far as what happened, it, uh, really, we're never really going to know other than until next year really started. Uh, but the process has been slow. We're trying to get engineering work done, working with the city, and trying to get contractors lined up material for you right now because of COVID and everything else going on. Uh, so we really hope to get started again in October with some more closes. Really go at it. Hope we have something up for late spring or something next year. And um, I wanted to ask this that no, I didn't do it up in the field when you were building it. And the track has gone down, and I did video back in 2016. And Got the whole progress until up until when it opened in 27, and uh, I from my here um it, it had a delay opening, right? We had a delayed opening. It just took a lot longer than we thought. And then we had after the first season we had redone the track, uh, made it a lot smoother, so that worked out well. And it was really great. Yeah, you know, every day with it, and, uh, it really seems to be a popular ride. So we hope that continues for many years. And um, I like how the wild things all the around it. Yeah, we really worked to try to fit, you know, we originally had our Blitzer and our Python on. So we kind of had something for both age groups and demographics. We really wanted to you know, make sure that we had something for the teenagers and adults that were more thrilling, and then also something for the family and the young people. So it worked out really well. And they also got the log room up here, and um, that's good for people when they get wet. They want to they want to get wet. Yeah. This is the water park down there, and um, this is the only water ride here, right? Yeah, days like today and the next couple of days, this ride's going to kick butt. You know, when it's hot, everybody doesn't mind going on there, getting a little wet and going off. Uh, what are the actual future plans for the new arcade? So right now, we're trying to finish the design. Uh, we're going to have back our two tenants up front. We'll have Dairy Queen. We'll have another tenant up front. We'll have our arcade. It kind of looks similar to 
I'm just not going to have that large like we had before. I'm going to have to have to be able to get all the space to see it. And it's not black before. And then mostly in the future, we plan on trying to put something in the track. If there's a long distance or something else, I'm on top of the roof. That's still a couple of years away. I have actually seen the video on the, um, the, the, the website. Yeah, that's our concept. So that's what we're shooting for. Uh, again, we got to get the building and the fire chip to power for that gun first. That'll come How long has the pirate ship been on the archway? It's been up there since the late 90s. Got it over. Okay. My final question is, is there anything else new in the works? Well, right now, we're not really working on anything yet for 2003, but uh, typically towards the end of the season, we really kind of start to evaluate that and the IAPIS ratio in November. We're going to really want to focus on the new stuff. Talking to a lot of manufacturers and seeing what their timelines are. It's really what we're interested in. We've got one or two ideas and a couple of them in So, can you explain IAPA? What is that? Yeah, IAPA is an uh, international use of the um, worldwide. We have people uh, down in Florida and Orlando each year. It's a huge convention down there for the Orlando Convention Center. Manufacturers, uh, sales people, water park people, everything you might need from parts to ice cream to uh, sodas and vending and everything you can imagine. I'll have to visit it once on the car. Yeah, I think you'd really enjoy it. That, isn't that where, uh, on the video I saw where Gale Force had your car retail? That's where we had our initial unveiling of the car for the first time we saw it. Yeah. Well, I guess that takes it, sir. Thank you so much for letting me in. No Thanks, nice to meet you. Nice to see you, Brian. All right, Caps. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I know you couldn't hear as much me, me and him talking, but um, yeah, because um, we couldn't do anything about the rides in the background. But I tried readjusting the audio, but you know, it is what it is. But um, I, I just hope you guys give it a like and share a thumbs up. And um, I'm just going to enjoy my vacation here and, and, and for the rest of the week and two weeks. So that's just about it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you give it a like, subscribe if you're new to my care productions. If you want to see some information, if you like what I do, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And you can find me on Snapchat and I'm Muggy Cap. All right, Caps, Muggy Care Productions, signing out. And so on. thanks for watching. Peace.